I strongly recommend and would really appreciate you watching just the entire video. But if you're only here for the tutorial, there's a time some screen right now, just skip to that. Anyway, let's go. Alright, so this is different. As you can see, I'm not on Minecraft. In fact, I'm on my laptop and I'm on Discord. So you'll be able to see all the Discord servers I'm on from here. But basically, I'm doing something a bit different today. So if we go up here, so if there's any noise in the background, if you go up here in polls, I did a poll at everyone. Sorry for another ping, but would you like a joke sort of video on how to sweat idle miner? If you don't know, it's kind of a joke sort of on next on the Discord server, this one here. I am a proper sweat at idle miner. Like a proper one. I'm not the best in the world. I'm just good, I guess. I'm a prestige once, which means I've got my backpack and pick up pickaxe. I've been what that is up to level 225 times plus another couple, basically. And they said yes. So this is a joke sort of video, but it is still an actual video, a legitimate video. So this one says, well, because I am on Discord. If you do want to go join this Discord server, as you can see, we have lots of stuff down here. We got all this stuff. Thank you so much for Candy Power. Since I've added Idle Miner and Thank Me as the games, it's much more because Ah, oh, stop robbing me. Um, I'm just going to do some more of this. So, I'm not going to be showing how to do Thank Me This isn't going to become like a series where I teach you how to play um, different games on Discord as such. I'm literally just going to be teaching you how to play Idle Miner today, and if people like it, then, you know. But, I'm not going to be explaining every small detail, because that'll take hours. But yeah, thanks to um, Candy Power and Tag for just being more active, you know, it's really nice. But, Idle Miner, so I'm actually going to sign out of this account and just sign in onto a different account where I can, I guess, start all over again to show you how it works. Alright, so here we are on a different account, as you can see. This is it's just World 2, I believe. Hey, I'm not online. Maybe, yeah, th yeah, I'm this one here, and it's just World 2. And so, how do you play Idle Miner? So, first of all, you've got to do... Everything starts with a semicolon. That's how Idle Miner recognises that you're saying something to it. And then you can do slash start, I believe. There you go. Well, that's start. So that's how you start Idle Miner. Your progress has been created. You now automatically receive items in your backpack. You use basically, you can use guides, but this is like an online guide. So basically, when you've done this, um, you can abbreviate stuff. So instead of profile, you can do slash p. Oh, that, that P. I'm going to say slash, but it's actually a semicolon. You can see my profile. I haven't done anything. Basically, how Idle Miner works is it's like you're automatically breaking blocks with your pickaxe and they're going to your backpack. When your backpack is full of items, then you can't get any more. And you can do that um, semicolon S to sell them, as you can see. Hi, Candy Power. Shout out to you. You can do um, semicolon S to sell them, as you can see. Enter. And it's been sold. I didn't make much money because obviously I've just started. But you can keep doing that. You don't you don't do it too often because if I do this, ready? Whoops. Uh, as you can see, it didn't work. I'm selling too fast. So you can't sell the time. And um, if you did not see up here somewhere. Any form of automating commands is not allowed. So if you like, just automatically do that. Um, semicolon S, it won't. I'll be cheating. And then, when you've got yourself some money, you do semicolon up for upgrade, and then B or P or whatever, and then the amount. So I could do up B, so that's my backpack. 1 would be 1 level, 2 would be 2 levels, 6 would be 6 levels, 22 would be 22 levels, or A is the max levels you can. So as you can see, I just uploaded my backpack 1 level, because that's all I had the money for, sad times. But I've done that, now my backpack's level 2, which means it can store more items. You can also up your pickaxe as much as it will go. That's just one level, which means now I'm mine faster. And as you can see, at the moment I'm mining coal, stone, gravel, dirt, wood, and a teeny bit of iron. When I've mined more blocks, I'm going to level up. So if I do um, something called level, I'm level one. Break more blocks to increase your level. So I've got 1,882 blocks until I level up. And when you level up, you'll well, not new. You will not new mines, but your base just mine better stuff. That's that's kind of the way it works. Uh, so that's the basic stuff. Basically, what you've got to do is use that S, that um, up B A. I can't upgrade it because I don't have enough. That's the very base version, but there's more stuff. 
So these are the three that you really should be doing. I'm um, four actually. So you should be doing semicolon claim all. I can claim all my um. You get hourly, daily, and weekly um crates. So I should have got an uncommon, an epic, and a legendary. So I do that O for open, and then uncommon. Open the uncommon. Whoops. O U. I've opened the uncommon crate. O E. I got a boost style thing those and O R. So oh, I don't know where O leg L for legendary. So I'm opening these crates. Now what you can do. This is, as I said, this is my second account. I don't have any other servers. But now what you can do is... There are three more, as you saw when I did... Um, claim all. I have now Hunt, Fish and Quiz. Hunt is the most useful out of these, in my opinion. Closely followed by Fish and then Quiz. So if you do that H for Hunt, you will hunt. Oh, I actually got on first time. So what you do here... Oh, Candy Power sweating out with me. So what you do here, right... I hunt, I got a pet, so when you hunt, it will, you will have, you have like a chance of getting a pet, which will boost something, so I just got a chicken, which is uncommon, gives me plus 10% mining speed, I, but if you don't get anything, you'll get one or two shards, which you can use to upgrade your pets, if you do up, chicken, A, whoops, up, chicken, A, there you go, um, I uploaded, upgraded at four levels, probably got some shards from one of the, um, crates I opened, my chicken is now level five, it's at max level, so I cannot upgrade it anymore. But when I rebirth, which I'll explain later, you can upgrade it. Then you got um semicolon F. Oh, actually, I'll just do pets info. So, whoops, uh, pets help. I believe it is actually. I can't spell. As you can see, these are all the pets you can get. So all the uncommon ones do the same thing as whatever. So the commons all increase your backpack size by 10%. The uncom which you can get cow, um, bat, cow, pig, sheep, squid. The uncommons all give you plus 10% mining speed per level, which is chicken, creeper, ocelot, puff, puffer, fish, and wolf. The rare ones, which are dolphin, enderman, guardian, parrot, and turtle, give you plus 5% sell price per level, which means you'll still sell everything for 5% more. The epic increase the effects of lower tier pets, by 2%. Um, and the percentage up there is just your chance of getting that pet. And their Elder Garden, Elder Guardian, Iron Golem, Snow Golem, Villager with a skeleton. And then we've got Mythical, which do their own thing. So Zombie Horse um, gives you not, minus 0.5% upgrade price for your backpack per level. Skeleton Horse, same thing but for Pickaxe. And Spider Jock is the same thing but for pets. And then the Legendary ones, they give you an ability. So the Ender Dragon, you can do that wings, you can do uh, semicolon wings, and what it will do is increase your mining speed, I believe it is, for a um, certain amount of time, if you get these legendary ones. The Wither does the same thing apart from its more sell price, and I believe the Giant just gives you some blocks automatically, which is the Earthquake ability. Those are all the pets. Now, semicolon F, your fish. I'm fishing level 1, I've got 1 out of 3 XP, 10% tre treasure. When you get treasure, you can get things, you can get boosters, which are also, as I said, I'm going to explain. You can get crates, and you can get shards, or you can get fish, which means nothing, basically. That's what you, that's all fishing really is. The last one, something called on Q. This doesn't just give you more stuff, it tests your Minecraft knowledge. So, I have a quiz. Answer the question correctly for reward. You have 20 seconds. There's an achievement related to pigs falling off cliff. You've got to say A or B. The answer is A because it's true. So, I got a crate. Now I can do OC, get that crate. Whoops, OC. Okay, I've got that crate. Basically, the quiz, there were plenty of different ones. And. Oh, it is. There, there we go. Let's get upwards. And there are plenty of different questions. And some, some are 1, 2, 3, or 4, A, B, C, or D, things like that. And if you get it right, you get a crate. That is the quiz one, and the quiz is basically very simple. You don't want to do the quiz all the time. I just like doing a hunt and fish. You want to do the quiz a bit though, because crates give you boosters. So um, these are these were the boosters. I don't have many. You can get boosters which up, which boost your sell price for a certain amount of time, boost your backpack size or your mining speed. So I only have two. Ah, oh, I have got. Uh, how many do I have? Um, I think, I'm not sure how many I have actually, I usually do not play on my, um, do I on my phone, not on this, but as you can see, I have, I, you can get mine speed, backpack size, I don't have any sale price, 
But you do them by doing the use and then the ID of one or whatever it is. I use the following boosters um, times 1.1 backpack, backpack price. I'm, I need to sell actually. And this up PA. Um, so that's how it works. But you see, the boosters are really simple. There's all sorts of stuff. I'm doing um, semicolon guides is a good way of getting stuff started. This tells you everything there is to know. These are the basics, which I've kind of told you. Um, semicolon evolutions, I have no idea what that means. Money is used to upgrade, yep. Pets, stuff, stuff, stuff. You can upgrade your pets. I've showed you the help. Games, now there are a couple games. Quiz is the one I've told you. Coin flip, you can you can do slash CF, I, I believe you can do. Heads, 10. There you go. I, I did that and I betted 10. I won $10. If, if it, and I guessed heads if I if it was wrong and I, it was tails and I would have lost 10. You can bet as much as you want, I believe. There probably is a max. Um, that slots never done this one before in my life i said i'm not the most amazing person in the world that slots one let's do because i'm not how it works uh okay what is it uh is it gonna be all bedrock win i won five dollars let's actually go that's how slots works very simple um don't laugh at me that's a bit rude that's kind of every. That's most of the stuff there is. Kits, crates, boosters, stuff. You don't really need to know about that as much. When you're just getting started, you want to do all the basic stuff and you learn as you go. Last thing is really is this rebirth. I don't. When you have your backpack and pickaxe upgraded all to level 200, which takes a long time. And by the way, the first level to upgrade is like a thousand, it goes upwards. So eventually it's like 20,000 to upgrade once, things like that. However, if you get up to level 200 for your pickaxe and backpack, which when it evolves into an emerald backpack diamond pickaxe, you can do semicolon rebirth, and then you'll upgrade your rebirth level by one. When you've done that, what will happen, basically, is you will have rebirthed, and you will start back. You will have like you will still have all your pets and things like that, and everything you've had, but you'll rebirth, so your all your basically your backpack and pickaxe will go down to level one. It, one again, and you can upgrade it again, and when you're rebirth level whatever, you get unlock a new dimension, things like that, there's like end nether rainbow dimension, things like that, and when you've, when you've rebirthed, you get like plus 5% hunt chance, and plus 0.5% sell price, or whatever, things like that, which is less important, but when you're rebirth 25, you can do, you cannot rebirth anymore, but you can do, oh, are you a big fat loser, unlucky, you just lost 2 million, unlucky, um, you can do um, semicolon prestige. You have to be rebirth twenty five, and basically, when you've got to rebirth twenty five, you and your back pick up some backpack with level two hundred. You can prestige, which takes away everything. You get press, you get one prestige token. You reset everything. That's how prestige works. You have no pets, no boosters, nothing. You start back at rebirth zero, and you have to start the entire game again. However, you will, ha you, you will be Prestige 1 forever, and you can Prestige up to 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm Prestige 1. And, basically, you get like some sort of Prestige token which you can spend to buy stuff. Not, it's not the most helpful thing, if I do Profile again, as you can see, I have zero credits, don't know what the credits are. I have a teeny bit of money, uh, let's do another S actually. Uh, scroll up, I have no crates, where does it say my Prestige level are? Level 1, that's probably my rebirth. Uh, don't know where it says prestige, it should do. But I have, I'm prestige level 1. And you can level up and all that. And yeah, that there is more stuff. Obviously, if you're starting off idle miner, you can do you can just do guide to get everything started. But I ta taught you kind of the basics. And basically most of the stuff that you need to know. And now, I, if you are still here, I'd love to have a minute of your time, please, to explain something. My Discord server. Look at all this stuff. I'm showing you this from my laptop, which is slightly worse than other stuff. But my Discord server. Please do be sure to join it. Link in the description. If you want to start playing Idle Miner, we have Idle Miner. We have Dank Meme, which I made another video on. Uh, let's beg. Let's let's rob uh candy power ah uh, at candy. Uh, well, will I get anything? Ah, oh, I was caught. Oh no. Let's um sell candy. 
Uh, wait. Please sell candy. Please sell uh, candy. Okay, I, I sold it. You can do tons of Zack Mima. I'm not as good as Zack Mima. I haven't sweated it anywhere near as much. But you can do stuff. But yeah, join my Discord server. Link in the description. Check out all the other links in the description. Do things like that. I'd really appreciate it. You can do whatever. I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, that is going to do it for today's video. If you have stuck to the same point, really appreciate it. If you want to see me do something else to a Discord, something that isn't Minecraft, let me know in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe, notifications on. If you want to see more Minecraft tutorials, game gameplay, maybe a couple of things on Discord. Oh, let's, let's do please meme. What a meme. US education system in the media tips. Little American adults believe that chocolate milk comes from brown cows. Nice. But yeah, also the links in the description. Do be sure just to follow me on Instagram, post CP videos to come, things like that. And join my Discord, as I said. Comment down below any other videos you'd like to see on anything. And mainly Minecraft, maybe a bit of Discord. And yeah, I will see you in two another video. I hope you did enjoy this weird video. And peace.